guys and dolls. So I have an exciting video for you guys today. Um, I got the opportunity to try out a new um, pigment seller, so that's really, really exciting. I know um, I made a, a video in December about pigments, um, buying pigment samples or whatever, and a few of you um, left me concerned comments letting me know that um, you had also purchased from that seller and some of the things that you'd received were not legit. And so that's kind of, you know, that's disheartening to find out that what you've received is not legit. It's really difficult because whenever you're buying online, um, when you're buying like a pigments, uh, sample pigments or anything like that, you never know if what you're going to receive is legit. Um, just, I mean, by the nature of the fact that it's not from an official MAC retailer or anything like that. So, um, I'm really excited about this seller because um, I got some things from her that I actually had legitimate items of. That way I could, you know, test it and find out if it was really real. And, um, then what I didn't have, I took to, that was available at the regular Mac store, I took there. And then things that were Mac Pro items, I took to the Mac Pro store, and it all checked out. It all checked out. So how cool is that? I just, I think it's bananas. Um, she also has brushes on her site, which might make some of you kind of sketchy, like, um, yeah, there's a lot of fake Mac brushes. But I talked to the seller, and she actually gets her brushes from CCOs, and I've bought brushes from CCOs. So, um, and I took the brush into the Mac store, and the girl was like, yeah, it's totally real. So, and to me, that's, it's pretty legit, just because, I mean, you'd think that the girls at Mac, if anything, would want to be like, yeah, what you bought was fake, like maybe you should have bought from an actual Mac retailer. I don't know, that's just kind of the way I think that they would react. Um, and then also another thing to me that really points out to the fact that she's legit is that her stock has changed since I ordered from her. So that's kind of, that's a good sign I think because of course you're not going to have the same stuff all the time if you're rotating your stock because you run out of things, you know. So without further ado, here's what I got. So, back in December, I got uh, th a sample of the 3D Silver Glitter, and it's really pretty. I actually haven't used it just because it's so wildly inappropriate for pretty much everyday use, but, um, so I wanted to get another one of it because I just, I don't know, I'm a goober and I like to look at it. So, um... When I got my sample from this new seller, by the way, the seller is, I'm going to have a link here and a link in the sidebar, um, it's Luxury Cosmetics at Eat Crater or something like that, an official link will be over there. Anyway, the one I received from her is quite a bit different, it actually sticks to the jar. So I was really concerned because they're so much different. Um, so I asked a couple of people around. I seem to remember that when Heatherette came out, the Heatherette 3D Silver was a little bit different than the regular one in the Pro stores. I don't know. Um, this looks a little bit, it looks like chunkier, but it's actually, they're really, really fine. They just reflect more of that holographicness. So I do believe this is the real one. When I went into the Mac Pro store, this is what the one at Mac Pro looked like. So that, to me, this is legit, the legitimate one. Um, then I actually have, um, real versions of Antique, Reflex Antique Gold and Gold Stroke. I was going to say Antique Reflex Gold, anyway. Um, I have real versions of these, and the first thing I did was when I opened the package, I swatched these against ones that I have that were reals. Totally checked out, completely the same. I was so excited, I started, like, screaming and stuff. It was really sad. Um... I got another thing of grape because I love grape pigment and I want to buy a full size of it. In fact, I want to buy a full size of a lot of different pigments, but I just can't afford $20 for just one color right now. I actually um, bought a couple of pigments from a friend recently, but that's because, you know, the jar was partially used and so she gave me, um, she didn't you know, charge me the full price for it or anything. Um, but yeah, I really, 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 really love grape pigment. I think it's just so beautiful, so easy to use. Um, blah, blah, blah. So this is the one that I received from the other seller, and they're, uh, they're basically, so far as I can tell, they're the same. But I want to show you how much different they are. This is the only one that I had, like, two that were the act actual same that I could compare. Now, Luxury Cosmetics jars are a bit smaller, so they hold less product. But she's also giving you double the amount of pigment, and I've been using these, you guys. Um, she gives you double the amount of pigment, 
This is one half of a teaspoon for only $3.49, and that's a really, really, really good bargain if you ask me. Um, I've seen half a teaspoon for like $5, so yay. Then, okay, I got Bright Fuchsia. Um, I have like all kinds of dupes for this, but I just wanted to be able to actually test it against other dupes, so that's like not terribly exciting for me, but it kind of is at the same time. Because now I have a copy of Bright Fuchsia as well as Ben Azalea and um, Medusa's Makeup Red Baron. They're all like the same color. Then I got a sample of Polished Ivory. Now if you guys watch my videos, you know that I use Blanc Type Eyeshadow in almost every single video. And it's because it's close to my skin tone. It's a matte highlight kind of a shade. It blends really, really well. This is really, really similar, but it's in pigment form, so um, if you need to apply like a lot or something. And I actually think this one might be a little bit smoother than Blanc Type, so I'm going to be buying a full size of this one. This is a pro one. Um, then I got Naked Pigment, and actually, um, Polished Ivory and Naked came with the wrong labels on them, but um, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um... Naked is gorgeous. Now I understand why everyone uses it. I gotta say, I, I still like Your Ladyship um, and Fairy Light better, but considering that both of those are discontinued, you know, this is one that you can actually go get at a store right now. And that's a regular MAC line. And then I got another one of Pink Opal. I have another sample of Pink Opal that I got over a year ago from a different, complete and total different seller. They are, these are exactly the same. Um, pardon me, um, it's just, it's so pretty, it's kind of like a whitish color with a pink reflect, I have absolutely no idea whether or not my camera is going to pick it up, probably just looks white. Um, some people have asked me of a, for a good dupe for helium, uh, pigment, because helium is just so chunky, I mean, I love it, I love that color, but it's so chunky. All you gotta do is put on a little bit of, um, light pink eyeshadow, like I have one in the 88 palette, and then put some of this over it, and it's the exact same thing as helium, but prettier. Then I got a sample of white gold. This is a MAC Pro eye, um, pigment, and it's like a gold with like a, like a whitish, a white gold with like a little bit of a greenish gold reflect in it. It's so pretty. And then, last but definitely not least, Dusty Coral. Um, I wanted to try some of some more of the uh, MAC matte pigments, and this one blends like a dream. It's so pretty. I love oranges, but this is kind of like a corally orange. I, I always used to hate coral. I don't know what it is. I think I was like traumatized by like bad Revlon coral toenail polish when I was a child or something. I don't know. <laughs> and um, and then also my name is Cora, so I'm always offended by coral because it's, you know, it's like my name with an extra letter. I know that's really narcissistic, but I'm getting over it, and I really like coral now. Um, it's actually one of, and I think, I mean, maybe not this particular shade on my cheeks, but I think coral kind of works for me in a way, so... Anyway, that's my haul. Oh, 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 and the brush. Um, I got a 239. I've been wanting, I have these ones from Low Cornell, which are great um, starter brushes, but they're just a little bit scratchy, so I've been wanting a real 239, but um, and since she had it for like a lot cheaper than they sell it on the MAC website, I was like, oh, why not? Um, this is totally legit, it's, it's stamped France on it, it's perfect, um, yeah, so I was super excited about that. And, um, like I said, I talked to her about it, and she gets them from a CCO, and my cat is being completely crazy, guys. I'm sorry. Want to make some more noise? So, anyway, um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I definitely think you guys should check her out because her prices are good. The fact that she rotates her stock is great because that means that she's not, like, making fake pigments. You know, she's actually selling new ones. And, um, or real ones. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.